Is everybody ready? Yes, sir. Good morning. I want to uh, first uh, welcome uh, Council President uh, Peggy King. I don't think any other members of the City Council have made it. But I uh, want to thank everyone for uh, coming out today on this, uh, what I say at this time of year, almost spring day. As so we uh, kick off uh, the announcement for our first open house uh, for 2015, which will occur uh, this weekend, this Sunday. And uh, again, we're excited to have uh, a number of partners who participate with the city every day. Even though we try and do these monthly open houses uh, to generate interest and uh, focus uh, the public on the opportunity for home ownership in the city of Schenectady, that uh, the Homes Program brings together realtors, banks, and other stakeholders to help showcase really the opportunities that here in Schenectady. And I want to uh, now introduce uh, Jim Flack, who's the Assistant Executive Director of BNI, to just talk briefly about some of the things that BNI is doing. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good morning. I'm honored to be here today with the mayor and other partners in the city's homes program. And I'm especially honored to be here with and representing Better Neighborhoods, Inc. and their housing counseling staff. I just want to talk for a few minutes about Better Neighborhoods as an agency and what we do, and then spend a few moments talking about our housing counseling program that assists homeowners in Schenectady. As you may know, BNI is a not-for-profit housing development agency that's been in operation in the city of Schenectady for 49 years. That's right, next year will be our 50th year of operation. Over that period, BNI has assisted many homeowners and has improved our neighborhoods, mostly for our clients of modest means. And we've done this in several ways. First, BNI has built or rehabbed hundreds of homes in our city. Among the many projects we have done are redevelopment of the area surrounding Burrell Park, ownership rehab project on Emmett Street, hundreds of individual homes throughout the city for homeowners and renters, and of course, our latest endeavor in building green homes that is just coming to completion here. And oh, by the way, while I'm talking about our green homes, we currently have three new homes for sale at this time that meet the highest level of energy efficiency and economy for homeowners. And we did this project with the help of the city. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Second, <laughs> second, we've also provided housing, housing counseling services since 1973 as a HUD certified agency. And over that time, we have served over a thousand families in achieving their home ownership goals. As a HUD certified home ownership counseling agency, we provide two kinds of counseling, foreclosure mitigation and home buyer assistance. Through the difficult times of the Great Recession, from which this city is now emerging, we have helped home owners deal with the very troubling problem of a mortgage foreclosure. But, and this is why we are here today, we also provide the very important function of housing counseling. BNI and its counseling staff are very happy to be closely involved in Mayor McCarthy's Homes Program, which focuses on assisting home buyers in making the city of Schenectady their hometown. It's important to note that our work is focused on assisting any home buyer in our community, no matter where they live now, no matter how much income they make. And we are particularly interested and excited in, ass in assisting any and all first time home buyers of any and all income who are unfamiliar with the process of purchasing a home. As you may know, the process of purchasing a home is not simple. It does not involve or happen at the snap of a finger. It is not an event that occurs overnight. Purchasing a home is a process that involves bankers, lawyers, realtors, home inspectors, and many other professionals. It is this process that, although not difficult, requires home buyers to make many decisions that can affect them and their families and their neighbors 
and our community for many years to come. Our staff of three counselors provides several very important functions through two, two different techniques. One is our home buyer education workshops, and two is our individual housing counseling. Our housing counseling um, it assists in the process of purchasing a home by um, having our counselors sit down with each client and review their financial sit situation individually. If the client has credit problems, for example, or too much debt to be able to afford a home, BNI counselors help them come up with a plan to solve these problems. We guide homeowners into a position where they can be solid, sustainable homeowners. We then guide the client through the steps of deciding how much they can afford on a home, how to search for and select a home, and through all the other steps it takes to purchase that home, including working with our city's realtors, our local banks, and our attorneys all of whom also assist home buyers in this very important process. So we do that in individual counseling sessions as required by home buyer needs, and we do this free of charge. I know it's almost unheard of this day and age, but we receive financial support from our banks that, who support us from the federal government and also from the city of Schenectady, which understands how important home ownership is to the strength and livelihood of our neighborhoods. I'm almost done, but I want to talk about one more home buyer assistance service that we perform, and that is our home buyer education workshop. Over the coming year, BNI will be holding a series of workshops for home buyers to assist them in learning the steps of home buying. We have a flyer with a listing of these workshops and the information is also available on our website. These are a three-part series of classes that review all the steps of home buying, from affordability to selecting mortgages and choosing a bank, to working with realtors and attorneys. These workshops are performed in a group setting, but they also help clients individual questions about home buying. These workshops are led by our counselors, who I'll introduce in a moment, and they involve participation by local realtors, bankers, and other professionals involved in home buying. The purchase of a home can be daunting for some people, with lots of questions to be answered and decisions to be made. Our job as housing counselors is to assist buyers in making the decisions and understanding their consequences. So let me introduce our counselors. First is Cynthia Jordan. Cynthia, will you step forward? <laughs> Cynthia has been with us for a number of years and has a great deal of experience working with home buyers. Next is Gloria Herman. Gloria, where are you? Here we are. <laughs> Gloria joined us in 2012, and she comes from a real estate from the real estate industry and with a great deal of background. Yes. Gloria also happens to speak uh, Spanish fluently so as to assist our Latino home buyers. Also and finally is Eunice Dawson. Eunice, where are you? There you are. <laughs> Eunice, Eunice joined us recently and focuses on assisting home buyers who are struggling with their home mortgages. So, are there any questions or comments? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jim, thank you. It, it, you know, you can't overemphasize the importance of the things that BNI does. Our partners at Habitat and Humanity, uh, Key Bank is here. I see Ray Legier from Legier Restorations, who's been one of the first people uh, in the homes program. There's. A, an interesting phenomenon that's happening in Schenectady and Troy and Albany and other urban areas across the country where you're seeing an influx of uh, younger people moving back into urban areas and they are paying uh, fairly high amounts in terms of rent. So they're buying or they're renting apartments uh, in urban settings and Schenectady is benefiting from that. We've uh, seen some uh, projects that have been completed recently and then the announcement of uh, the rehab of the old uh, uh, Robinson block on State Street, which will happen later this year. And those individuals, you know, 
home ownership is a big step, whether you're an individual or a family. And so to take advantage of the program that BNI is putting forth today, so you can go in, understand the pitfalls, understand the opportunities, uh, it's really a uh, great asset, not only for the community, but for individuals. And so again, thank you for uh, the whole team and the time and effort that you put in putting this together and making it happen. Uh, now I'd like to introduce Jay uh, Christiana from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Blake. Prudential Manor Homes was the first uh, real estate partner to join our homes program here in the city of Schenectady. They're now uh, going through a change in name and title and uh, expanding their uh, role not only in the community but across the country. So uh, Jay, I'd like to uh, again thank you back. And thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. I am uh, extremely excited to announce our new affiliation with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Yesterday was officially the first day that Prudential Manor Homes and Prudential Blake Commercial began operating as Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Blake Realtors. This was an absolutely incredible opportunity for us and for all of our associates in the Capital Region, North Country, and beyond to affiliate with one of the world's most respected brands. Uh, you'll continue to see our signs changing throughout the region for the remainder of the week. I think we've got our final signs set to go in this weekend. Most of our office signs have already transitioned over. We, uh, we certainly invite you to stop in and speak with one of our associates at our uh, new office location on Route 7. You'll see, instead of a big Prudential sign, you'll now see a big uh, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sign. We're the same great company, uh, where, you know, with significantly improved uh, marketing resources. Um, there's never been a more exciting time for our company. I've never seen morale uh, greater uh, and more excitement. Uh, in regards to, uh, to real estate and the, uh, the local market here. We do have a transition website that we've set up with information for you to read more about this. It's called CapitalRegionRevolution.com and uh, on this site you'll learn uh, more about Berkshire Hathaway, what we are, Warren Buffett's involvement, our local community involvement. Um, and you'll be seeing things happen from, from now up to March 27th when we have our big, uh, big launch party awards where we're going to have the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services uh, join us. Gino Blafari is going to be coming in from Irvine, California to spend the day with us and with our associates and uh, talk about all the excitement surrounding this. I want to um, I want to thank uh, Mayor McCarthy uh, for allowing us to be here today, and again allowing us to be one of the first partners in this homes program, which we are 100% committed and behind. Uh, it's it's no um, mistake that you know our first press conference and our first. Uh, uh, first chance to talk about this is about three blocks from our first branch of office that opened up back in 1922. Uh, believe it or not, this is the fourth generation. It was actually my great grandfather, Samuel Blake, who started this business. And uh, here we are 93 uh, years later, still serving the same communities and, uh, and growing by the day. So I um, also want to thank Ahmad Yousafi uh, for everything you've done, for Mary D'Alessandro for, for being the heart and soul of uh, this homes program and, and going above and beyond to, uh, to, to do everything that's required to, uh, to make this work. So uh, again, we appreciate your support. We invite you to take a look at the new Berkshire Hathaway Home Services and uh, thank you again for your time. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, you're in the uh, mortgage market now, we're really still seeing historically low prices and uh, affordability of houses really has never been better. And people will look back you know, in a decade and say, oh, you should have bought a house back in uh, 2015 when rates were that low. But one of the organizations that has always made housing affordable in New York State has been Sony May. 
and we're fortunate to have worked with Sony May in a number of ways here in this community and throughout the region. We have Bill Teague here today, who's the uh, Assistant Vice President, and uh, Bill, appreciate your time and effort and uh, all the work that you do. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. I mean, Sony May was established about 43 years ago, and our mission is really to provide funding for purchase loans in New York State for low to moderate income people. But also, recently, what we've rolled out is a new and improved rehab and remodel program, which we believe will really be helpful in a lot of the urban areas where there's some properties that really need, that need repairs, right, need fixing up, where people can purchase and finance into the purchase the essential repairs and also the remodels that they want to do all in one piece. And we target low to moderate income homeowners or home buyers and we target certain areas where the need is the greatest. And what we do is we don't do the loans ourselves. We provide funds for the banks to do the loans and then we purchase the loans from the banks. So we're rolling out a new program that I think will be very, very helpful with the City of Schenectady and some of the other partners here are being really, really generous with their time to work with us so that we can you know, bring this out to the benefit of both the people in Schenectady and the community at, at large to kind of repair and rehab some of the housing here. So that's, that's our mission and that's where we fit here. Thank you. I want to uh, thank everyone for coming out today. Remind people that we're doing the first open house this Sunday, February 22nd. In, uh, number of homes will be open throughout the city of Schenectady from noon to approximately 3 p.m. And all the uh, partners and individuals will be available for questions or comments. Yes? I just have to say something about Better Neighborhoods. I was a beneficiary of Better Neighborhoods in 1971, and they provided the council and then I bought my first house for $13,850. And I probably would have been a homeowner at that time, so I just really have to thank Better Neighborhoods. The that you continue to provide. Thank yeah, you. It's a great resource. Again, I thank everyone for being here and appreciate them coming out on Sunday. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>